Now, Thomas Lawton Evans, the suspect, he was released from prison just a little while ago, two weeks after serving time for armed robbery and burglary. Our police reporter, Harv Jacobs, is standing by. He takes a look into uh, Evans' criminal background, and he was no stranger to the inside of a jail cell, Harv. Roth Evans got into a lot of trouble while he was in prison. Now he's facing even more problems. It took only two weeks for Lawton Evans to find himself back behind bars. We did a background check to take a close look at his arrest record. In 2009, Evans was arrested for breaking into a James Island gas station and stealing cigarettes and lottery tickets. The Charleston County Sheriff's Office says Evans and two accomplices then robbed a West Ashley gas station. In 2010, Evans was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the armed robbery and burglary. Evans is no stranger to police. His rap sheet is eight pages long. We can only fit seven of them on the table. It goes back to the year 1999 and includes some very serious convictions. In the year 2000, Evans was given probation for assault and battery of a high and aggravated nature. In 2002, Evans served 127 days in jail and was given two years probation for strong arm robbery. In 2009, he was sentenced to 10 years in prison for the armed robbery and burglary at the gas stations. According to State Department of Corrections records, Evans got into a lot of trouble in prison. In December 2017, a little more than a month before he was released, he was disciplined for taking a hostage and possessing a weapon. In October 2016, officials say Evans threatened to harm an employee at the prison. Records show in March of that year, Evans was disciplined for possessing a cell phone. Yet he was released from prison on February 1st after serving eight years of a 10-year sentence. State law allows him to serve the last two years on community supervision. Now after his arrest for kidnapping Heidi Todd, if convicted, Evans faces the possibility of going back to prison for the rest of his life. A spokesman for the State Department of Probation and Parole told me an arrest warrant's been issued for Evans for violating his community supervision. However, it's more likely Charleston Police and the FBI will get first crack at Evans when he's returned here from Mississippi. Roth, back to you. All right, Harv, thank you very much. And